Hello guys, welcome to another episode. Today we are here in Power Up Alabang. I'm with Norby right now. Hello. This is actually my third video here. You might want to check out my previous videos about Power Up Alabang. I Anyway, we are going to do two things in this episode. First is we will take a look at some of the gym's top rope climbing facilities. So Gorby will explain what top rope climbing is. We will also demonstrate how the system works. No? If you are new to wall climbing, this is probably the type of climbing that you will first uh, try out as a beginner. The next thing that we will do is we are going to test some of the Catlon's climbing shoes in the top rope facilities of the gym. Before we go inside, let me introduce Gorby. He is one of my uh, friends in the climbing community. Hi, Boulder Kada. I'm Gorby. I've been climbing for just a little over three years. I actually started out climbing through bouldering. Then I realized that I enjoy rope climbing more. So that's top rope or lead climbing. So I think today's episode, which focuses on top rope climbing, is perfect. So before we proceed, if you are new to this channel, I would appreciate if you'd subscribe for more climbing content. I will be posting climbing vlogs regularly. Okay, so we are inside Power Up. Uh, these are their top rope climbing facilities, na? Yeah, all the way over there then. So yeah, uh, Gorby will explain what top rope climbing is. Hi guys, so this is what we call top rope climbing. We'll explain why it's called top rope later on. As a climber, your objective is to scale this entire wall, which is around 10 meters for this gym. And again, the goal is to get to the top. And normally, you would follow the same color. So for example, you can start with this yellow route, which is graded 6A+, plus, according to this guide here. The way to climb the route is you just stick with the yellow, yellow. color. So you don't touch the blue holes or the brown holes. When you get to the top, you have to hold the last hold with both of your hands in a very stable way. That way, it's considered finishing the route. Hello, it's Coach Mike. Hi. Uh, and si Coach Carl. Huh? Yeah. Hello. Hello. So the reason we call it top rope climbing is, well, first of all, there's a rope. Um, the rope starts uh, from the belayer, which in this case is me. Um, I have a belay device attached to my harness. So the rope uh, is attached to the belay device, runs to the top, where you can see um, an anchor. Then the rope goes around the anchor, going down to the climber. And the rope is also attached to the climber. Uh, to his own harness. harness. So that's why it's called top rope climbing because the rope uh, comes from the top going to the climber. The way that this belay device works is when the climber suddenly falls or uh, slips, he will fall a bit but the tension caused by that fall will go all the way to this part of the rope near my belay device. The tension will cause the belay device to pinch the rope. So this will effectively arrest the fall of the climber. So if you have any yeah. other questions or concerns about um, belaying, you can simply visit Power Up Alabang mm -hmm. and um, ask any Power Up coaches yes. for this time. So there are also other things that we want to check before mm -hmm. the climber starts climbing the wall. Let's start first with the harness. So the harness has to be tight enough mm -hmm. that you don't have a lot of slack especially on the waist. The leg loops, you should have both your legs in one leg each. The rope is attached to the harnesses via the carabiners. The binners that you see here are auto-locking, so you have to check that they are indeed locked. And then the climber will also check that, okay, it's definitely locked. For the belayer, the belay device, the mouth here should be facing outwards from the climber. And it's, it shouldn't be the other way around to make sure that the belayer can belay properly. Now the rope, you have to make sure that, okay, when I trace the rope from the belayer, mm -hmm. the belayer's line is outside mm -hmm. and the climber's line is inside and there's no twisting that happens. So you have to make sure that it's not twisted. And mm -hmm. if it's twisted, then you have to Twist. reorient such that you, you remove the twisting. Mm -hmm. So once the rope is attached to both the belayer and the climber, climber will say climbing mm -hmm. and then the belayer will say climb on. So the reason why the climber needs to say climbing is to let the belayer know that he's about to start climbing and has to be ready to start the belay process. And then the belayer says climb on to signal the climber that okay I am focused now on the task. I am ready to belay you. So it's all for safety. So let's start now. See you again. Climbing. Climb on. They're gonna hear my voice. I'm gonna make my choice I'm gonna make some noise in my life, baby They gonna watch my words Ain't gonna write my verse I'm gonna make this yours before it's mine, baby Okay, 
Nice one. You see, Gorby here is like, also sitting on the harness. Hi guys, so I'm going to try these Picathlon climbing shoes. Yeah, so I'm going to try them today on top rope. So let's go. Imagine if that was all of us now. Why, 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 why can't I get, can't I get? A look from your direction, give me just a second, I need your attention. I need your attention, baby. Why, 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 why can't I get, can't I get? Them to ever see us, them to just believe us, baby. They will hear us. Yeah. If they don't know, they. Okay, so I already tried this beginner show. Uh, the next one is this, the one with lace. Alright, so guys, I tried the beginner shoes and the beginner routes of the gym. So, it kind of fulfilled my expectations. The holds are big, so I don't think I need that much precision in terms of stepping into the holds. So, these shoes are okay even if they're flat. I think uh, these shoes are really suited for uh, beginner climbers uh, when they try the beginner routes. Uh. This one's a slip on shoe. Yeah. yeah, so this one's more aggressive than the previous shoes. Uh. So I'll be trying the shoes which are recommended for advanced climbers. Uh. I'm on an ultrasonic way. I'm making some high whether you like it or not. Yeah. I'm cooking up vibes for days. Yeah. I know what you like and I got just what you want. Yeah. I wonder will you trust me, babe? Baby. Got it in the works and I've been working a lot. Yeah. Also, I say Delta strap. Yeah, so thank you so much, Gorby. Did you enjoy today's episode? Uh, yeah, I did. I enjoy the opportunity to share to people the joys of climbing. And like what AE said, um, top rope climbing is a good way to, to start if you haven't climbed ever before. It's um, perfectly safe. Um, there are a lot of routes um, well suited for beginners. So I really encourage everyone to try it. We learned a lot today from Gorby and from the staff of Power Up. So if you'd want to try these uh, top rope climbing facilities, especially if you're a beginner, I'd want to check them out here in Festival Mall in Alabama. Alright, okay, see ya. So that's it guys. Uh, for sure, I'll be inviting Gorby in my next episodes. Maybe next time we could do deep climbing naman. Huh? So, okay, bye guys. Bye-bye.